Good morning. We are back again the second morning of January of 2023. It is great to see you again this morning. It's such a privilege and an honor to spend this time with you each week. Let me introduce myself. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I'm the pastor, the very proud pastor in Iliopolis and Niantic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Light Life and Love Ministries. This is an outreach effort to to help all the folks in both churches and the communities and beyond who have a spiritual connection and want to grow in their faith and in their spiritual health. I'm the host of the Pursue an Uncomfortable podcast and will be releasing a book this year on that same topic. So welcome to 2023. Welcome to Monday Morning Kappa. This morning, I want to continue our discussion on forgiveness. This month, we are doing a five-part uh, look at forgiveness. And friends, I know you've heard me talk on this before multiple times, but it is so vital to not only our spiritual health and well-being, but our physical and mental and emotional health. Forgiveness is that one spiritual skill or set of skills that can dramatically change our health across so many areas. So I really, really want you to consider how you can embrace these teachings and forgiveness and incorporate them in small ways and big ways into your life. Often it's easier to start small and just build a little momentum, clear out those things that have been nagging on you a little bit. Don't do the big ones first. If that's what you've got, then that's what you've got. And if you want help working on it, reach out to me. I would love to help you do that in your life. I know the difference it can make. I've seen it in my own and I've witnessed it in the lives of others. But if you are just wanting to get better at this, start small. Start with the little things and build your way up. As you get more accustomed to doing this, you'll want to continue to do more. So today I want to focus on the benefits of forgiveness. What do we stand to gain when we forgive? And, you know, last week we talked about what forgiveness is and what it's not. Forgiveness is letting go of that emotion that is attached to a past event or hurt. So when we can revisit that event in our hearts and minds and not have all of that emotion that is bound to us, then we know we have forgiven. That is what forgiveness is. Reconciliation is a separate process, a separate step that comes after forgiveness. So let's talk about forgiveness and how it can affect our health. When we forgive, we find a way to have peace within ourselves and with others. This calmness, this peace relieves stress, it relieves anxiety, it helps us to feel more positive. But forgiveness will build confidence it will increase happiness. It will give you a more positive outlook on the future. And believe it or not, it will give you better physical health. Yes, and there's a lot of documentation out there on this. A lot of studies have been done. Google it. Search these up. There's a lot of evidence supporting better health outcomes when we are able to let go of those grudges that we've been holding on to. And the reason why it is so profound, why it profoundly affects us physically is because the, um, the stress that comes from holding on to these grudges will put us into the fight or flight mode. When we see that person who has wronged us and all those emotions come back, when, we, when our stomachs clench like that, when all of those things are signs that we have been we have put ourselves into fight or flight. Now, that is helpful. That release of cortisol, that stress hormone, goes into our bloodstream and it, evacu it activates our large muscle groups. It makes our heart beat match what we need in order to put out a great deal of physical effort. But if we're not doing that, if we don't have that physical effort that accompanies that fight or flight response, then we're just adding stress to our bodies. 
that cortisol that's repeatedly injected into our systems can do damage where it was intended to do good. But if we're not engaging in that physical activity <coughs> that the cortisol is preparing us for, then it just sits in our system. And there are a lot of effects that come from that. Our heart rate speeds up. We experience high blood pressure. Our immune system is suppressed, meaning we can become sick a lot more easily. Who wants to be sick? And especially who wants to have that happen more easily? Chronic pain will worsen. It takes longer to heal. We are more prone to diabetes, higher cholesterol, obesity. A lack of forgiveness has some really profound physical effects. I mean, we're talking about a big deal here. When our immune system is suppressed, when we are more prone to heart problems, diabetes, all of those things, that is serious. And we can do something that costs zero, zero dollars in order to change that health outcome for ourselves. We don't have to have insurance. We don't have to spend any money. We do have to make intentional effort and there is work involved in doing this. But friends, this one skill can change your health over a broad spectrum of issues. How many of you right now have something in your body that hurts, that has for a while, that you foresee will for a while? Do you want that worse? Would you like it better? Forgiveness makes a difference in our bodies. It also has an effect on our relationships. Obviously, it affects the relationship where we are holding that grudge or where we haven't forgiven yet. But it will also affect our other relationships. People notice when we hold grudges. And someone who is holding a grudge is viewed differently than people who forgive. People who forgive are seen as compassionate and kind and empathetic, trustworthy, in control, forward thinking, someone that you can trust to be in relationship with. Subconsciously, intuit intuitively, if you're someone that holds grudges, people are going to hold back a little bit with you because nobody wants to be on the other end of that. Nobody wants to invest in you and then be cut off. It just affects us profoundly in our bodies, in our minds, and in our relationships. So if you are seen as a person who forgives innately, people are going to be drawn to you. They're going to see your kindness and your compassion and your empathy, and they're going to trust those things in you. Likewise, if you don't forgive, the converse is true. People aren't going to be eager to trust things with you, to entrust things to you, because they know that you, know, you put the hammer down and it could happen to them and nobody wants to do that. So if you find that people are walking on eggshells around you, this might be one of those reasons. But uh, the lack of forgiveness and the holding on of grudges also impacts how we view the world. Uh, we become stuck in fight or flight mode. And folks, this has a real impact on our physical health, but also it limits us to tunnel vision. When we are in fight or flight, our brain is not processing other things around us. It is focused on that physical physicality that we need in the moment. So it's going to affect our outlook and what we're able to see and interact with. Uh, folks who are stuck in fight or flight frequently have a more difficult time looking forward to things. They focus on what likely will go wrong. Um, it's less likely that you'll make goals or plans and even lesser likely, however the appropriate way to say that is, to uh, follow through on those goals or plans. Uh, your anxiety is going to go up. You're going to experience so much more anxiety. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. In the blog post I have about this today over on the Spirit Health blog, 
at uh, lightlifeandloveministries.com slash blog, they're going to see a whole list of these, these profound effects. So the effects of forgiveness, I could speak for hours on this, and I'm stumbling a little bit today because I'm trying to condense it a little bit. So I do encourage you to go check out that blog post, but forgiveness matters to you. It has nothing to do with the well-being of that other person. Forgiveness is a penalty that you carry when you're holding on to past hurts. And I get it. I totally get why we do this. I understand why we cling to these things. But we can make our lives so much better when we develop the courage and the skills to release these grudges. I want to help you do that. If I can help you to release grudges or to let go of past hurts and to heal from them, then I will have done a profound thing in this world. So reach out to me. It's going to take courage. It's going to take intentional work. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be bad before it gets good, but I promise you life is better on the other side of forgiveness. Friends, that's my message for you today. And if you would like to learn more, reach out to me. Some of you have. After last week, I got some responses. Some people reached out, some things that they're wanting to work on. Some of you are carrying such heavy, heavy, painful burdens. And I've been praying for you all week. Let's take the next step together. I want this for you. Thank you for spending time with me this week. And I'll see you here again next week. Again, my name is Melissa Ebkin, pastor in Iliopolis and Ionic, and I want to help you to grow in your faith and spiritual health. See you next week, friends. Bye for now.